Welcome to the last installment of my 2022 Makeup Favorite series. Today is all about lips, so if you want lip swatches galore, you're in the right place. I've got a lot to talk about, so let's just get right in. 2022 was the year of lip liner for me, and by far my favorite and most used was the Citizen Cosmetics Lip Stroke in the shade Duh. This is almost the same color as my lips, which is a perfect nude lip for me, but this formula is really exceptional. It's unlike anything I've ever tried before. It glides on over your lips so easily like you barely touch your lips and it glides right on but then it sets and this formula has a kind of like gel like quality to it where it feels a little bit cushiony almost as if it adds volume to your lips as you apply it Citizen Cosmetics announced that they're gonna add some new shades to this line so I'm very excited and I just think that if you're on the hunt for a lip liner Truly, truly, the best that money can buy is the lip stroke. A close second for most worn lip liner was the Makeup Forever liner in Wherever Walnut. This is great because it's a multi-use pencil. You can use that on your eyes, cheeks, and lips. And I love Wherever Walnut because it's just a really nice, warm, kind of beigey brown for me. It's my perfect lip liner when I want to wear a red lip, like something like a sheer red lip product where I just want a little bit of definition. I always like to pair a more brown lip liner instead of a red lip liner. Liner, and I find that that makes it look so much more natural and just like a part of your lips. I don't think the formula is anything particularly special here. It's just like a classic lip pencil formula, not as unique as some of the others, but nothing really beats this shade range. And this color in particular has been a total staple for me. But speaking of innovative formulas, the Fit Glow lip liners are criminally underrated. These have that classic Fit Glow something something to them like this cushiony element that just feels really comfortable on the lips i'm pretty sure these are the only lip pencils out of all of the ones i'm showing that don't fully set down so you can still kind of rub your lips together a little bit if you want and i just find that to be really comfortable and this has the same kind of technology as the citizen cosmetics in that it seems to just add volume to your lips which is why i love these for overlining my lips my favorite shade is Buff, which is a slightly dusty pink. I love to pair this with a sheer pink lip gloss. So nice in the spring and summer months. And then my other favorite is Nude, which is still more of a beige, but a little bit pinky as well. My only complaint is that Fit Glow doesn't have more shades because this formula is truly, truly exceptional truly comfortable, truly volumizing. I think it's really special. So I would love to see them launch more of a range of neutrals since they tend to lean towards more bright shades. An incredibly similar formula to the Fit Glow liners are the Tower 28 multi-use liners. And these are great because you can use them on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. They have a similar kind of like creamier gel-like quality to them like the Fit Glow, although they don't kind of add volume quite as much. And these do set down and then they don't budge. So these are great if you want that kind of creamy quality, but in something that is really long wearing. The only downside is that they only come in three shades. My two favorites are Fill Me In and Fill Me In is probably the most cool toned lip liner that I own. It's definitely more of a beige with a little bit of like a dustiness to it, which is really nice because it's something that I don't already own in my collection. And then the other color that I love is Fill Me In, which is probably the pinkest lip liner in my collection, aside from the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk. But I'm not including that one in this video because all these other lip liners I think are better. The Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats are great. I just think that they have such a waxy formula that it's not something I tend to reach for. I like these kind of creamier pencils that set down. I find them to be just a little bit more comfortable. And the last lip liner I fell in love with is the Vive Modern Lip Definer in the shade Brat. This is the peachiest lip liner that I own and I didn't intend for that to happen. The website says that it's like a dusty pink, I think, or like a, a, a pinky brown, but I mean, I'm looking at my hand right now and this is the peachiest lip liner out of all of the ones I have. So I really don't think that the description matches the shade Brat, but I'm happy to have it because I don't have a peach lip liner. I just really need to figure out what would be the right shade for me in the Vive range. I think I'm looking at Aphrodite next. So let me know in the comment section below if there's like a nice kind of mauve shade or a dusty pink or a pinky brown that you know of from the Vive range. This lip liner formula is very creamy. You barely have to touch your lips and it just glides slides right on and then it sets down fully. Like if I rub my hand, this bad boy will not budge. I think the Vive ones might be the longest lasting out of all of these. Yeah, for sure. 
when I rub my hand and kind of mess up all of the lip liners, the only one out of this entire range that does not budge is the Vive one. All of the others have a little bit of creaminess to them that stays on, so it kind of depends what you're going for. Do you want something that is like uber long lasting or do you want something that feels a little bit more comfortable on the lips? Totally depends. And because I wanna be as helpful as possible, I'm gonna insert a clip here of all of the lip liners swatched side by side so you can really see the subtle differences in the colors here. The first is the Citizen Cosmetics Lip Stroke in the shade Duh. The second from the left is Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut. The third is Fit Glow Buff. The fourth is Fit Glow Nude. The fifth is Tower 28 Work of Art. The sixth is Tower 28 Fill Me In. And the seventh is Vive Brat. Moving along to liquid lips, and I just want to mention that for the rest of the video, all of the products are fragrance-free unless I say otherwise, so I'll call out any scents that they have, but if I don't say anything, then just assume that there isn't a scent. By far, my favorite this year were the M Cosmetics Soft Spoken Velvet Lip Creams. When I first tried these, I didn't feel like the claims really matched the actual product, so I wasn't initially blown away. But then as I started using them consistently, I just totally fell in love with them. They are a gorgeous, balmy matte lip formula that has a beautiful blurring effect on the lips. It really does smooth over lip lines a little bit more than the kind of standard powdery matte liquid lip formulas on the market. I just don't think they're quite as groundbreaking as Michelle Fawn was saying. I know she said that they went through like several iterations to find the most perfect formula and, you know, this was unlike any other kind of matte liquid lip on the market. I actually think they're incredibly similar to the MAC Powder Kiss liquid lipsticks and the Sunny's Face lip dips. In fact, I think the Sunny's Face lip dips are actually the most comfortable and balmy out of all the similar products like this, but these are a very, very close second. And I do think these might have a little bit of an extra blurring quality over the Sunny's Face, but it's hard to say. My favorite shade, surprisingly, of the year was Flutter, which is this hot strawberry pink that is so beautiful for the spring and summer months. This kind of kicked off my transition into being more of a bold lip girl this year. If you've been here for a while, I'm sure you saw that I started wearing a lot more bold colors and it's just really exciting to kind of enter a new makeup phase in your life. And this really kicked it off for me. I just fell so deeply in love with this color. And I'll show you the applicator. I do love this applicator. It was designed to feel like a fingertip and it absolutely does. It really does make the product a joy to apply. I also love the shade Intuition. I think they said that this was more of like a warm berry or something like that, but on me, it pulls way more terracotta. So I would have actually loved this more if it had a little bit more of those berry undertones, but this is an absolutely stunning color. It's beautiful for year round wear. And I think this would be pretty much universally flattering. And these do have a little bit of a scent. I really can't put my fingers on, like um, an artificial caramel almost. It's not my favorite scent. I really don't like that it smells a little bit artificial, but honestly, it's pretty subtle and it fades really quickly. I recently fell in love with the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lipstick in the shade The More The Merrier. This is just a beautiful berry that's a little bit muted. I like that it's not super bright. It's not quite as comfortable or blurring as the Sunny Space Lip Dips or the M Cosmetics Soft Spoken Velvet Lip Creams, um, but it is still quite comfortable. If you rub your lips together, you still get that creaminess and balminess. It's just this is a little bit more drying, not quite as good of a technology. And my only complaint about these, just as a heads up, is the applicator. This applicator is really annoying because it's too long for me to put it on my lips like this. Then it just gets everywhere. But it's so pointy that if I just use the tip, I'm not really able to get the proper application. So this isn't my favorite out of the category, but I still just absolutely love the shade and I find it really beautiful, really comfortable. I didn't include the Sunny's Face lip dips in this video because I can't get them anymore. I think I bought them from PNY Beauty, which was a retailer for Sunny's Face in the US, but I saw that the lip dips were gone. So I didn't want to include that in case you can't get them anymore. But if you can get the lip dips, Oh my God, they're one of my favorite lip products of all time. I wear them constantly. My favorite's Girl Crush and um, So Good. Those are my two favorites. Oh, and the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lipsticks do have that classic MAC vanilla scent. Moving on to classic lipsticks, a formula that knocked my socks off were the Say Liplers. Again, another product where I did not feel that the claims matched the product, but I didn't really care and I just fell in love with them anyways. You would think that with a name like Lip Blur, there would be some kind of blurring quality to the formula, 
but there really isn't. It's just like a really nice slim lipstick that is super, super pigmented, creamy, comfortable, and long lasting. That's it. These don't have any scent. They come in a range of really beautiful, bright, opaque shades. So it's going to work on a wide range of skin tones. And I fell in love with three of them. My most worn is the shade Dada, which is a beautiful kind of rich terracotta shade that is, I think, probably the most universally flattering, but there's also a little bit of a rosiness to it. So it's not just like a straight orangey terracotta. There's a little bit of, of pinkiness to it that I find more flattering on me than a standard terracotta. So I really, really love what they did with this shade. And my second favorite is Modern, which is actually like really, really similar to Dada, except it's just got a little bit more dustiness to it. Like a a hair more mauve, a hair more of like a gray, dusty quality. You can see there very clearly that Dada right here and Modern are pretty similar shades with Dada just being more of like a reddish terracotta and Modern being slightly more dusty. And then honestly, I think the one that I ended up falling in love with the most is Pop. I wore this in my 2022 Makeup Favorites base products video, which I'll link on the screen above. And I wore this and I got so many compliments. People were like, that's your berry. And I totally agree. It's really like the bright berry of my dreams. I feel like it really wakes my face up. It's almost like a beautiful, bright fuchsia berry. There's just a really gorgeous brightness to this. And my favorite way to wear it is with a brown lip liner. So something that's just gonna add some structure and definition and then fill it in with this color. And I feel like you've just got a magical lip combination. My second most worn lipstick formula were the Merit Signature Lips. Again, hilariously, a formula that I have a lot of complaints about but I still ended up falling really, really in love with. I'm gonna start with the problems with the Merit lipsticks first, just so that you understand. This is a very, very balmy formula, but in order to get that emollients, you really have to kind of work it into the lips and warm it up. So it's a very stiff formula, and what that means is in order to get that bombiness and build up pigment because they're sheer, you have to really kind of rub the bullet on your lips. What ends up happening is it ends up pushing the lipstick to the side of the container, and then it starts to form an indent around the bullet. And then when you kind of twist the lipstick back down, it scrapes it up. So my first couple shades that I got were a total mess, and they were just like, scraping up product and they were dented and tilted and I had so many DMs from people saying that they had the same problem. But I found that if you're just very, very gentle with this formula and you kind of swipe it on and you don't like push it really hard, then it ends up being a beautiful, beautiful experience. And the first one I fell in love with is the shade Lava Nu, which is described as a berry brown. I didn't like this color at first on me, but then when I paired it with a brown lip liner, it just gave me cool, effortless girl vibes. I really fell in love with it. And it's the kind of color where you definitely wanna swipe a few times to build it up because this is a very sheer formula. So I think on some people it might come across as a little bit patchy, but on me, when I pair it with a lip liner, I don't experience that problem. And I think this color is, I don't know, it's unique. It's something that I haven't necessarily seen before. And then a friend sent me two shades of the Merit Signature Lip Formula in Fashion and Millennial, and those ended up being really the best matches for me. You know, I've tried Slip, I had tried Baby, I had tried 1990, and all those colors kind of make me look a little gross. Like Slip was really yellow and made me look sick. Baby was really gray and made me look dead. 1990 is really cool, but it's just not my kind of shade. But these two are where it's at for me, with my favorite probably being Fashion. Fashion is another shade that I like to wear with a lip liner because it is a darker shade and because this is a sheer formula, I find that it does need that structure but it is just the perfect berry shade for me. I love that there's like a little bit of maybe red or pink to it, so it's not too purpley. It's really the perfect berry, and I love this kind of, you know, balmy formula, but I also fell in love with the shade Millennial recently, and I think Millennial is actually what I wanted Baby to be. I was worried Millennial was going to be too light, too cool toned. You know, when I hear pink lipstick, I think Max Snob, and that's not really the vibe anymore. But this is a really beautiful, very sophisticated pink. It's a warm pink, it's very sheer, so it just adds a flush of pink to your lips, and I find it really flattering on my skin tone. So I think that Merit has really impressed me with their ability to create colors. 
their range of blushes, their range of lipsticks, I think are just really beautiful, really thoughtful, nuanced, interesting shades. A product I've used to death and I'm almost out of are the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss kind of lipstick bombs. This is in the shade Pillow Talk and you can see it is an absolute disaster. This is the kind of formula that just melts when you apply it on your lips. So it's the kind of thing that you can click up but you can't click back down so just you know be aware of that. But I just love it. It's like a vinyl lipstick balm. It's so melty, so nourishing, so thick, so cushiony. It's the kind of product that I just want to swipe and swipe and swipe and like rub my lips together because I think the formula is truly one of the most comfortable I've ever found. It adds a beautiful shine to your lips. It almost smooths over the lip lines. It has a little bit of a scent. I would say it's something, it just smells like subtle sugar, which I find really pleasant, but it's very subtle. The only complaint obviously I think people have is that it gets really melty and a little bit messy around the packaging. It's also really thin, cheap feeling plastic. And when you're paying Charlotte Tilbury dollars, you probably want to see more like Victoria Beckham packaging. So that was a little bit of a bummer. You know, they don't look the most sophisticated, but they feel the most sophisticated. And the shade Pillow Talk is, in my opinion, the best Pillow Talk out of the entire range of Pillow Talk shades that they offer. This one just pulls a little bit more pink and I find that more flattering on me. A lot of the other Pillow Talks I've tried are a little bit too mauve or like a little bit too dull, I think, but this one adds a beautiful amount of brightness to my face. I really just wish that Charlotte Tilbury would add some more like nudes, beiges, browns to this range because she does a lot of very like bright pops of colors, but I would love to see some more kind of natural shades for every skin tone. A very similar formula, the one that I'm wearing today, is the Chantecaille Lip Chic in the shade Patience. This is my perfect nude lip. It really just kind of goes with everything. It's not pinky, it's not yellow, it just is very neutral. And this is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss but this is a little bit stiffer. So instead of something that just like melts over the sides, this does come in a bullet form that you can twist back down. So it's more like the Charlotte Tilbury mixed with a classic lipstick. So if you want something that's a little bit more high-end looking, I would probably go with the Lip Chics because they also come in a ton of colors and they have a wonderful scent, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. It's like just ever so slightly sweet or vanilla-y, which I find really, really pleasant. These have a beautiful shine, really gorgeous, cushiony, comfortable, nourishing feel to the lips. And like the Charlotte Tilbury, they're also a grippier, thicker formula. So they don't slide around. They don't just like sink in your lips and disappear. There's just this like, mm, cushiony, nourishing quality to them that I find totally addictive. And that's why these are just a tried and true fave. And if you took the Chantecaille Lip Cheeks and you made it one step stiffer, you would get the Beauty Pie Future Lipstick Luxe Shine. So it kind of goes like Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss, Chantecaille Lip Chic, Beauty Pie Future Lipstick Luxe Shine from like most melty and nourishing to most lipstick like. Similar thing here, you get like a really nice scent, just kind of sweet vanilla and you get a lipstick formula that also feels like a nourishing balm and has a gorgeous amount of shine to it. And if you ever want to try Beauty Pie, you can get $10 off your first order with my code Kate sent me. And these are really beautiful. My favorite color is You Sexy Thing. So compared to Patience from Chantecaille, this is a little bit more pinky. So I'll reach for it when I want something a little bit more like peachy pink, something that's a little bit you know, less of a total neutral nude on me. And then another favorite I love is the shade Bruised Berry. Oh my God, this is just a stunning cross between a pink and a berry. It's the color I've talked about potentially wearing on my wedding day because I find it to be so romantic. You know, it's a little bit pink, it's a little bit berry. It just makes you feel like you've got that perfect flushed lip color. I think it's so incredibly flattering and it's just one of my all-time favorites. I hope that Beauty Pie never discontinues this formula because it's so good. Another balmy, sheer-ish lipstick is the Armani Lip Power in 504. I love this one. I thought this was maybe gonna be a little bit too dark for me, but it's not. This is wonderful because it's a super, super comfortable formula. There's no scent to these. I love the packaging and I especially love the applicator. This teardrop applicator is absolutely brilliant because it fills in my lower lip line really easily, but that tip I can use to get a sharper line on my Cupid's bow. 
I would say these are more of like a shiny lipstick than the others that I've talked about for the past few minutes are more more like lip balms. Like I feel like those really improve the quality of my lips. Whereas this is just like a really comfortable, balmy feeling lipstick. So the balmy lipsticks I just talked about are ones that I would wear even if my lips were like really chapped. I feel like they do add some nourishment to my lips. Now we're kind of just getting into the lipsticks that are shiny and comfortable, but aren't necessarily like treatments or nourishing. So this is just like a really shiny, pretty comfortable lipstick. And I will show you on my hand, this is Armani 504 Flirt. And this is Merit Lavenue, if you want to compare them. So Merit Lavenue right here, right on top of Armani 504 Flirt. So Lavenue, you can see much more sheer, more brown. Uh, Armani 504 Flirt, much more pigmented, more berry. Another super comfortable, shiny, balmy lipstick I fell in love with is the Bubel Diamond Cherry Bombshell. Look at how beautiful this bullet is. It is such a stunning, sparkly, festive lipstick. And somehow all of that glitter does not feel like anything on the lips. I hate super gritty products. If I can feel any bit of grit from glitter, I will not wear it. That's why I really don't like the Fenty, what are they called? Universal lip luminizers, you know what I'm talking about. I really don't like those glosses because I find them super gritty. I don't know what technology they use to do this, but it's amazing. It's just the most sheer wash of like a pinky cherry red with this gorgeous subtle frost to it that I find really flattering, really comfortable. It's unscented. I really hope that Bebel comes out with more shades because it's a really cool brand. They partner with a lot of influencers and celebrities to launch like little little capsule collections, which I think is really cool. I believe this was in collaboration with Avery Ovard, and this just ended up being my go-to festive lipstick for around Thanksgiving and Christmas. I just thought it was really beautiful, and I love to kind of whip it out and show how beautiful it is. A company you guys are sleeping on, I'm telling you, is Runway Rogue, and they launched this lipstick in front row, and it's their 90s vibe lipstick. So the whole brand is made to seem kind of like a 90s vibe, and it was done by Patricia Hartman, who was a supermodel in the 90s, so that all is very, very fitting. And this lipstick in front row is so gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you, it's a cross between two other lipsticks I've already talked about. So on my hand right here, this is Runway Rogue's Front Row. These two shades right here are say Dada and Modern. And I feel like if you mixed Dada and Modern, you would get Runway Rogue Front Row. This is like a rich brown with some warmth to it, but also a little bit of a dusty quality. So it's a little bit muted. I find it so beautiful. I love wearing this as a bold lip with just some mascara, or I'll do like bronzy skin and a matte brown eye, and I just think it is so nice. This formula too is incredibly creamy. It's richly pigmented. It just feels like a dream on the lips. Also has a little bit of like a classic lipstick smell. I wanna say it's almost like, God, I don't know what to compare it to, but hopefully you'll understand what I mean. The classic lipstick smell of the 90s was like slight vanilla with a hint of floral or maybe rose. It's so subtle that I don't mind it because I really don't like floral scents and anything that goes on my lips, but this is a very nostalgic scent, so I actually quite enjoy it. I also really like the magnetic closure. I find that very satisfying, and I just think that that's a brand you're sleeping on. I also really like their lip gloss. It just didn't make this video. Another very richly pigmented lipstick that is super creamy and comfortable is the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in Promise. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I will just show you on my hand compared to Front Row. So this is Runway Rogue Front Row. And right here on the end is Vive Promise. So you can see very similar, but Promise is a little bit more mauve and Front Row is a little bit more warm brown. The Vive Modern Matte Formula is richly pigmented. It is creamy. It is comfortable. It does look matte, but I would say more like maybe a satin matte. It's just a gorgeous lip formula. This comes in a beautiful range of shades. I think Jamie Genevieve did an incredible job with her whole brand. And if you haven't seen my Vive brand review, I'll leave it linked on the screen above. It really knocked my socks off. It's rare that I spend like, I don't know, $150, $170 or something on a brand and like almost every single product that I tried. So definitely watch that video because it, they've become my favorite brand now. I mean, one of my favorite brands. I'm so excited about them. I also really like the packaging of this lipstick. Sure, maybe a little bit inspired by Tom Ford. I don't mind sophisticated, timeless classic. I'm here for it. I just, yeah, I think it's a great brand, great product. Can't wait to try more from Vive.
And then I have two matte lip balms. My favorite was the NARS Soft Matte Lip Balm and Brief Encounter. This is a really, really nice yellowy beige brown on me. And I like that because I don't really have any other color like this in my collection. This is the kind of formula that feels almost like a powdery Vaseline on the lips. Such a gorgeous formula. If you want to reach for a matte lip, there's like a little bit of a blurring quality to it as well. It's not super, super pigmented, so I can swipe it a lot to build the color up, but it is buildable. And I like that this comes in a range of more like skin color shades. I wish more brands would launch colors that just look like our natural skin. I think this was a really good color range and just another fantastic product from NARS. If you want something that is more richly pigmented, then a similar product are the Fit Glow Cloud Collagen Lipstick Balms. This is in the shade Spice and Spice has a little bit more of like a, a warm terracotta color to it, whereas NARS Brief Encounter was a little bit more of like a yellow beige brown. Both of these are totally unscented. I would just say that like they smell a little bit like crayons almost. I don't love the packaging of this. I don't like the way that this looks as like a chapstick. I would much prefer if Fit Glow had launched something with a little bit more of an aesthetically pleasing packaging, you know, with like a, an actual lipstick bullet. But these are really interesting because they are matte. Like they're matte on the lips, but they feel super creamy. I would say the NARS are more matte, like they, they look more powdery, whereas these just kind of look like a matte lip balm. I, I really haven't tried anything that I compared them to. I think that's what I'm trying to get at. Unfortunately, with this range, they launched a ton of pastels. It was like a bunch of like peaches and pinks that were super, super light. And I just did not think that they were flattering. I thought it was a weird choice. I don't know. But they said that their production of the more like deeper neutral shades got held up for some reason. So they are expanding the shade range with some more wearable shades. So I think when that happens, I'll be able to really start experimenting with this more. But I have been reaching a lot for spice and I think it's beautiful. And if you want to try Fit Glow, you can always use my permanent code Kate20, which gets you 20% off your order. Now we're moving into my favorite category, which is liquid lip balms and glosses. So for this category, I've arranged these from thickest and like grippiest and most cushiony all the way down to thinnest. So if you like something that's more lightweight on the lips, you'll probably prefer the formulas more towards the end of the video. But the thickest out of this whole category are the Naturium Phyto Glow lip balms. I love these so much. I reach for these over anything as expensive and luxury as you could compare this to. I reach for these because nothing, nothing does what these do. I start getting really animated when I start thinking about lip products I really love. Oh my God, I love these. They feel like the original Bite Agave lip masks that we all know and love. My favorite is the shade Petal and I'll show you the application right now. It's this beautiful light pink that just really brightens up my complexion. It's super, super fun. But watch what this does to my lips. It smooths over the lip lines like a filter, like nothing I've ever seen before. It's incredible. I just think that it is such a beautiful special formula. These also smell just a little bit sweet, kind of like the original Bite Agave lip masks. And I believe the founder really liked the original Bite Agave lip mask before they reformulated it and made it horrible. So I'm not surprised that she launched something similar feeling. My second favorite is Jam, which is a stunning berry with a little bit of brown. I think it would be beautiful on everybody. I just think that this is such a great color, especially for the fall and winter months. And it, again, it just, it adds that gloss-like shine like nothing I've ever seen before. It's so beautiful. And then my third favorite is Lychee, which is a bright, bright, I guess neutral red. It doesn't really lean blue, doesn't really lean orange. That perfect kind of wash of a red. And you can apply just a little bit for more of a sheer color, and you can also build it up and get pretty good amount of pigment from these. Just so you know though, mine have the old metal applicator, but they got too many complaints from people that it was too hard to squeeze out product because it's so thick. So they did switch to a plastic applicator instead, which is a little bit of a bummer. And I talked to the brand, they've been sold out of this everywhere, but they said they're about to restock. So keep your eyes peeled on the Naturium website and Target because these are coming back. They're not discontinued. The next thickest formula are the Live Tinted Hue Glosses. And these are an exceptional launch that it, another criminally underrated product. My favorite, I think is the shade, I believe it's Proud. Both of these, the stickers fell off. So I really don't know which shade's which. I think it's Proud, this kind of very, very sheer, peachy caramel shade. I love this when I want a nude lip and I don't want to reach for like a lip liner or a lipstick. I just want to whack this on. So it's just like this thick, 
cushiony gel-like coating for your lips, but in a more like slippery formula than the Fit Glow. So thicker and more slippery than Fit Glow, if that makes sense, if you've tried those. The Fit Glow didn't make my list this year because if you've been paying attention, I've shared that Fit Glow doesn't add any fragrance to their products. It's just all naturally occurring from the ingredients. They have an ingredient, I believe it's the vanilla in their product that is affected by climate. And the climate this year, I guess, just made it smell floral. So I really haven't been gravitating towards the Fit Glow Lip Serums, if you're wondering why they aren't in this video. So hopefully they can stabilize the formula and get them back to that kind of earthy vanilla scent because I really don't like anything floral smelling. But these have replaced them and I haven't missed that formula because I can reach for these. The only thing is obviously they only have a couple colors. So they've got that proud shade that I showed you. They also have Brave, which is a gorgeous, rich kind of reddish brick brown, which I think would be flattering on a lot of people. And I could just add a little bit in the center of my lips and kind of press them together and it's a sheer wash of color or you can build it up for a very opaque lip. They also, I think they still have the kit available with the third shade they launched that was limited edition called Brilliant. It's like a glossy kind of shimmery lip luminizer shade. I believe you can get that on Ulta. These are totally fragrance free, so nothing to smell here. And I love this super thick applicator. It's so satisfying to apply. It's the kind of thing you want to just keep rubbing all over your lips. So my only complaint with these is that they don't come in more shades. I think the Give Beauty Bubble Pop Electric Gloss is probably the same. It's very similar as the Vive Lip Dews. This is like if I could ever create my own lip gloss formula, this is what it would be. It really would be. Gwen Stefani knocked it out of the park. This is like thick and high shine and comfortable and cushiony. This is pretty sticky in a way that I love. And so some people might say that it's a little too sticky. Some people also say it's a little bit too scented. It's got like a very strong vanilla cake batter kind of scent. I love that personally. But this is me in a gloss. It really is. This color is very similar to Beauty Pie's Future Lipstick Luxe Shine and Bruised Berry. So it's that cross between a pink and a berry that I think is universally flattering, such a romantic, flush kind of shade. It's just, it's stunning. It's so comfortable and cushiony and long lasting because it's a little bit sticky, glossy, balmy, nourishing. Love it. Absolutely love it. My only complaint would be, you know, I don't really love this packaging. It's not my favorite, but it's so on brand for Gwen Stefani that I think it makes total sense. I just hope to see them launch more shades because right now they just have like this, a hot pink, and then a bunch of like light pastels, which, you know, I don't really gravitate towards. So really hope they expand the shades. Another product from Vive, what can I say? I really, really love them. This is the Lip Dew, and I would say this is thinner than any of the others, but this starts to have more tackiness to it. So I wanted to put it in the beginning here because it is kind of a more cushiony formula, but it also has some tackiness to it, so it's longer lasting. So if you prefer a lip oil that's like very lightweight, no tackiness, no stickiness whatsoever. Maybe look towards the end of the video when I have some alternatives. But this formula is gonna be for those of you like me who love something that's a little bit cushiony, a little bit more thick, and does have a little bit of that tackiness so that it doesn't slide around lip lines or get in your mouth. It stays, it's more long lasting. My favorite shade is Cherub, which is this gorgeous hot pink. And as you can see in the application footage, it really does have a good amount of pigment. I love that Vive wasn't afraid to put pigment in these. I feel like so often in these kind of lip oil-like formulas, people just make them so, so sheer. I love that they made this actually pigmented. I would describe this as like a liquid lip balm meets like a lip vinyl almost. They have an artificial caramel scent that frankly is not my favorite. Um, it's quite strong, so heads up on that. It does go away after a while. And it's another product with a really comfortable, chubby applicator that I love. So Cherub is definitely my favorite, but a close second is Rosa. And Rosa is a gorgeous kind of dusty, dusty mauve? Dusty pinky mauve? Dust, dusty pink? Dusty pink, we're going with dusty pink. This though, compared to Cherub, is like very, very sheer. So I really wish they had added the same amount of pigment to this one because this dusty pink color is I think so universally flattering. I would have loved to see more pigment in it, but I get that they wanted one that was a little bit more on the sheer side as well. So I love this formula from Vive. 
I really hope they expand the shade range and you know I would want to own them in every color. Another liquid lip balm I love is the Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. Don't think of this as a lip oil. It is just a liquid lip balm. It is fluffy and cushiony and nourishing. It's if you took the Live Tinted and made it a little bit thinner. So if you didn't really like the idea that the Fickle Lip Serums or the Live Tinted Hue Glosses had like a thick cushiony quality to them, try the Beauty Pie ones. They're a little bit thinner, a little bit more lightweight on the lips, but still you have that kind of like fluffy, glossy, cushiony, gel-like coating to the lips. My only complaint about these is that there's barely any pigment to this. So my, my favorite shade is actually Jammy, but I think they discontinued it. So I didn't include it, but my second favorite is Cherio. And you'll see in the application footage, it's just, is a wash of, you know, a, a pinky red. It barely shows up on the lips. These have a wonderful vanilla scent. Mm, so addictive. And they definitely have a little bit of a slip to them. So they're more lightweight on the lips. When I want a nude lip, that is just a quick gloss and it's not going to compete with anything else on my face and it's kind of going to like blank out my lips but without washing me out i reach for the bodyography lip gloss and shy as you can see it's like a really neutral nude and it's almost like mac creme de nude vibes but not quite as like intensely nude as that in fact you know what shantukai patience rubbed off so i'm gonna apply this this shy is this that perfect nude lip that almost is too nude, but really has a nice opaqueness to it so that, you know, I can just like slap it on when I'm on the go and I don't need a mirror and I know that I have a good nude lip. It's a really comfortable, shiny, balmy, non-sticky formula. It's a little bit on, not the thinner side, but it's just not as thick as all of the others that are my favorites. So if you want more of like a balmy kind of lip gloss that's a little bit more lightweight, you can go for these. My only complaint with them is that the applicator really doesn't give you a lot of product. I have to dip in this three times to get the opacity that I want, but these are a really, really beautiful formula and I believe they have a scent. Yeah, they smell like, oh God, what is it? Oh no, what is that scent? Nougat? Nougat? Caramel? No. It's like a, some kind of like classic candy, candy confection scent. I don't know what it is. You get the idea. There's a scent. And lastly, the most lightweight products of the bunch. We have my In Beauty lip glazes, which I just absolutely love. My two favorites, if I had to narrow it down, Berry Jam. Berry Jam will always be my favorite. First of all, the smell is, oh dear God. I instantly start salivating when I smell this because I just love it so much. I wish more lip products had this berry jam scent and it really does smell like jam. There's like this tartness to it. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. And I love this color. It's just a flush of a sheer berry. I think it's really beautiful on the lips. One of my favorites. And then a color they launched this year that is super beautiful is Merlot. Total dupe for Dior Mahogany. And I prefer this because I like their scents a lot better and it's more affordable, of course. This is kind of, what is it? Smells like gr sour grape candy, I wanna say. Really nice, pleasant smell. And I like that this color is just like a rich brown berry, perfect for fall and the winter months. And I would say the In Beauty lip glazes are something that I would reach for if you want a thinner gloss oil hybrid kind of formula. So you're not looking for anything like super thick, cushiony, long lasting. They do have more of an oiliness to them. So I find that they can be a little bit runny on the lips. But if you like more of a lightweight formula, definitely check out the In Beauty lip glazes. I prefer them over the Dior lip oils. I mean, I prefer them over any lip oil. And then lastly, I believe the thinnest product and the most lightweight are the M Cosmetics Lip Dews. I didn't love them. I, I really just didn't feel like these were nourishing. It's the kind of thing where like they just would sink in on the lips and kind of disappear. So I wouldn't reach for these if you want anything that's like really gonna make your lips feel super, super nourished and comfortable and protected. But I just loved this shade. This shade Temptress is a color that I've had in my head as something that I would create if I ever were to launch a brand. Like I would want this in the Give Beauty Bubble Pop Electric formula. It's red but there's some pink to it and there's it's also a little bit muted. So there's like a dusty quality to it. It's just this perfect, sophisticated, nuanced, flushed red shade that I really haven't seen anywhere before. Like I'm looking at it on my hand and there's some brown, there's some red, there's some pink, there's some dustiness to it. It's just a really beautiful shade. Sadly, I do not like the applicator of these. It has this really, really skinny, pokey applicator and there's like almost no product on the middle. And then you have to like 
poke the top to get your actual top lip. It, really terrible applicator experience. So these aren't my favorite product, but I just had to include this because this shade is one of the best things I've ever seen. And I'm hoping that if I share this, you can maybe tell me if there's a shade out there that's similar, maybe in a formula that I would like more. But, you know, we all have different preferences. Beauty is so subjective. So if you like a more lightweight formula, then I do think this is beautiful. And it does have a scent, some kind of like artificial sweet candy scent. Not my favorite. M Cosmetics Lip Dews and their Soft Spoken Velvet Lip Creams just have like an artificial scent quality to them that I don't love, but it's very subtle and it fades very quickly. That's it. Those are my favorite lip products of 2022. If you missed the rest of my series, I'll make sure to link everything in the description box below. I did a favorites series on skincare, on my eye makeup, base makeup, on general favorites like body care and perfume. So be sure to check those out and catch up on some content. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channels to grow and it would mean a lot. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.